close that thing very often. Uh, and, and not just for hurricanes and tropical storms, you get a little uh, a windy day and uh, it's done here because it goes so high. But here's the latest. I just want to bring you up to date on our local impacts here with Helene, right? So the tornado watch we had has been canceled. The conditions favorable for twisting thunderstorms, that has pretty much subsided here. So I think we're looking good as far as that's concerned for the rest of the day. We are still in Helene's wind field, so that is still going to provide us with gusts 30 to 40, and we don't need squalls or you know bands of rain to move through for that. That's going to continue. Now, when we do get them, we have the potential to gust upwards of 55 miles an hour, but particularly down towards uh, the Florida Keys. And then, of course, the rain and the wind subside Friday. Our next alert that goes through tonight will be canceled for uh, tomorrow. We're going to be in much better shape, but we first have to get through what uh, tonight. And of course, our good friends in Naples and points to the north up in the Big Bend. They're going to uh, get the brunt of the uh, hurricane, which is a major category three. Settling winds at the Naples Pier, 33. We're gusting severe wind gusts there at 58. Folks are still out there. Let's see some paddle boards getting going. Not a great idea, but uh, always get that uh, during these uh, tropical systems. So Helena, 125 mile an hour winds. It's a category three. It could bump up to category four, but uh, you know, it's going to start running out of uh, warm water here and it's going to go inland for uh, tonight. So uh, that is the structure that we're going to be dealing with as it makes landfall. But such a huge system. The impacts are up and down the uh, Florida coast here and along uh, the Keys as well. You can see the wind gusts continuing 30, 40. Now as we get closer to landfall, which will happen tonight, that's when we'll start getting into uh, some catastrophic wind potential there across uh, the uh, Big Bend, the Nature Coast, as we see some of the winds at 40 and 50. But Expo the Radar Network showing that last band paralleling the coast, but pushing towards the north and east. So we're in this wedge of relatively calm conditions. Now we are going to get a few more bands heading in through this evening, but uh, for, you know, as far as the rain totals, we're not looking at a flood event uh, by any stretch. Here is the latest uh, track from the National Hurricane Center. Of course, as I mentioned before, the cone now, as far as a, you know, landfalling impact, not really helpful. That's going in, but uh, there it is still a hurricane across uh, portions of South Georgia. There Valdosta getting in on some very heavy rainfall, Thomasville in uh, Florida and then this continues headed up to the north and west. This is going to be a huge rain. They're going to get more rain as I've been saying in Atlanta and places like the Tennessee Valley than we uh, will here anywhere from five to as high as uh, 10 inches. That's going to go through Sunday as the system then curves out and becomes post tropical. So here is uh, next weather rain tracker. We'll get closer to landfall here sometime later this evening after nine o'clock and there is the northern eye wall, the northeast quadrant, the most dangerous part with the onshore wind there. That's going to bring in the storm surge and uh, folks across Perry been there as well as you live in Tallahassee you kind of uh, you know drive around everywhere and explore uh, and Perry is going to be in trouble tonight with a potentially 100 mile an hour wind gusts there as it approaches by the way uh, folks have been asking you know the rest of the tropics we're not ignoring them it's just I don't see a threat here for Florida this is Isaac it did form it's going northeast away and then th this feature here is going to curve out to see that's going to be Joyce we've got Kirk uh, the uh, next name on the list but that's going to be a way away and we aren't uh, talking about anything uh, imminent for us here. So the latest again, tropical storm warning continues for us. Those wind gusts will be with us. We're going to have some heavy rain bands that continue, but both the intensity and the frequency of those are going to diminish as we head through tonight and into tomorrow. Next for the seven day forecast, we'll see rain chances crashing down to 30%. We're going to be in great shape, going to be hot, but that's all right. We'll dry out heading into uh, the weekend. We'll keep you posted on Hurricane Helene. Continuous coverage continues next.